Welcome to the Tech and Gadget News. Casio has introduced its first G-Shock watch that uses Wear OS by Google. The GSWH1000 comes in different black with blue, gray or red color combinations and has a dedicated charging cable as an accessory. It has a dual layer display, one which is monochrome, always on LCD that will last up to one month and a high definition color display for maps, sensor data and more, which will use up the battery in a day and a half. Thanks to its onboard GPS, it can obtain the current location data. On the center of the titanium back is a heart rate optical sensor. Further sensors include bearing, altitude and a barometer. It's also shock and water resistant up to 200 meters, including a microphone and charging port. With Wear OS, the watch comes with Google Pay, Google Fit and is able to get notifications for calls, emails, social media and more apps can be downloaded from the Play Store. The Casio app supports data capture for various indoor and outdoor sports activities such as running, cycling, swimming, surfing, skiing and walking with data such as distance, altitude, speed, time, calories burned, sunrise, sunset, tide graph and heart rate. The app button can be operated with gloves to quickly access functions such as the heart rate monitor, map, altitude and more. The Signal Messenger app is working on a beta test version which will allow users to pay using cryptocurrency. The new payment system will be supported by mobile coin. At the moment it will be only available in the UK. The main difference between this and current payment systems such as Google Pay and Apple Pay is that users will have better privacy. Transactions will not be shared with third parties. Mobile coin is a cryptocurrency which is based on blockchain technology similar to Bitcoin and relies on open source software. However, part of the mobile coin's storage solution relies on Intel's proprietary software guard extensions. Signal's end-to-end -end encryption not only protects the communication from being captured but also the server's through which the message is passed through metadata which may include private information such as participants, time and frequency of communication is also protected by signals encryption. Chipolo released the first Bluetooth tracker which is compatible with Apple's Find My Network. The one spot tracker will work a year before the battery needs replacement. It is waterproof and has a sound volume of up to 120 decibel when it's being pinged. It will be available for pre-order starting next month. In addition to the Spot One tracker, Apple also announced other products which support Apple's Find My feature, including Belkin's newest wireless in-ear phones as well as Van Moo's new electric bicycles the S3 and X3 e-bikes. Mercedes introduced the EQS electric vehicle which can drive up to 770 kilometers on a single charge. The EQS 450 Plus is a rare wheel drive with 245 kilowatt, whereas the EQS 580 has 385 kilowatt output with four wheel drive. The optional 141 centimeter hyper screen display is made out of three parts made to look like one giant screen, which is powered by Daimler's own MBUX dashboard infotainment system instead of using Google's Android Auto. Prices are yet to be announced but it is to be expected in a similar range as Mercedes' own S-Class. First deliveries will likely start this summer. 
Sony announces its newest flagship phone, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III and 5 Mark III, with variable smartphone telephoto lens, which allows you to switch between 70mm and 105mm focal length. The wide lenses have a focal length of 16mm and 24mm. Both phones have a 21 by 9 HDR OLED display and a refresh rate of 120Hz. Real-time eye autofocus, Zeiss optical lenses, built-in micro SD slot, a 3.5mm audio jack, Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G mobile chip and a 4500 mAh battery. The difference between the two is that the Xperia 1 Mark III comes with 12GB of RAM and a 6.5 inch 4K display, whereas the Xperia 5 Mark III comes with 8GB of RAM with a 6.1 Full HD Plus display. The latter also doesn't include a time of flight sensor for improved focus and also doesn't include wireless charging such as on the Xperia 1 Mark III. Both phones include a 30 watt fast charger in the box however. The smartphones will be delivered with Android 11 and come in black, grey and purple with 256 GB memory for the Xperia 1 Mark III and black, green, pink with 128 GB gigabyte for the Xperia 5 Mark III. The launch date is expected to be before this summer. That was this week's tech and gadget news. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.